All right, welcome back to the Rails Quest channel. I've got a really good one for you today. Should be short and sweet, but also packed with some really cool stuff. Today we're going to talk about infinite scrolling in Rails 8. So this is going to be powered by Turbo Frames. We're going to have Turbo Streams. We're going to look at the Pagey Gem. And we're going to look at how simple all of this can be with Rails 8 and just one very popular and very um, well-loved pagination gem. Okay? So without further ado, let's dig into it. I think I better show you what this looks like first. Okay, so we've reloaded this page and it looks like a normal list of things. But as you can see, I have seeded the database with thousands of to-do lists going back for years. We're all, already back in 2023, okay? And I can keep scrolling like this all day. That's the power of infinite scrolling. Watch how fast the page loads. I mean, I've, I've shown tons of records. There are thousands of records on this page. If you don't believe me, well, let's take a look. User dot last right. Yeah, that's the user that I'm working with. Meant to say dot count. Okay, 10,000. There are 10,000 to-do lists going back to 1997. All right, so trust me when I say this thing is ready for production. Okay, so how do we get such a nice, smooth interaction with so many records? Well, like I said, the power is in infinite scrolling, it's in lazy loading, it's in pagination. Whenever you get uh, an app that starts slowing down, like I'm going to demonstrate right here, whenever your app starts slowing down, it's time to start thinking about several different performance considerations. And one popular tool in the toolbox is pagination. And you'll want to use this in combination with all the other uh, good performance advice that you'll get several other places, like indexing on the database. Have proper indexes on your queries. You're going to want to have n plus one queries eliminated in a lot of cases unless your caching strategy is specifically designed for that. But that's kind of an advanced use case. So now you'll see that I have taken away the pagination. Let's see if what I've written is actually robust enough to handle that scenario. All right, so in the Brave browser that I'm using here, this is a subtle indicator that the page was loading. Did you see how long that took? One, two, three, four, five. About five seconds to load all those records. It's still kind of impressive that it loaded them that quickly. But look at the stark difference when I switch to pagination. Boom. And almost zero difference in your user experience. I'm using the pagey key set helper. And the way that you get that integrated wrong thing is this line right here. Telling you all about how to set up the Pagey Gym is out of scope for this video, but I'm pretty sure I've shown you all the code at this point. The only line of code I haven't pointed out is right here. Include Pagey Backend, that gives you the helper. And then you can call this helper Pagey Key Set, which is just their most efficient way to load records for infinite scrolling. Uh, you're not going to want to use it if you want the little page numbers that you can skip around to. But it works great in scenarios where you just want to load the next results, and then the next results, and then the next results. Exactly what we're doing with infinite scroll. So let's reset the controller back to the way it was and look at the view. So this is the view. It fits in one page except for this tailwind nonsense going off the screen, but ignore that for now. So you'll notice that we have a turbo frame around our list of to-do items, and we have a helper that renders this load more. So let's take a look at our helper. Very simple. It just renders the shared load more template. So if we go to the shared load more template, you'll see we have a frame, another turbo frame around the load more, and all it does is add the turbo frame and render a loading animation. So let's take a look at what's going on here. And this will make a little bit more sense in a bit when I show you how this all ties together. But notice we have the loading is lazy. In fact, that's so important semantically 
that I'm going to put that right here at the front. So turbo frame tag, load more, it's lazy loaded. And what that means is this will go and fetch a URL that you pass it and it will load whatever is in the turbo frame that it gets back into the view at this point. So as soon as this is in view and in a scrolling context, that means when we've scrolled to the bottom of the page where this is located, you see it's below this unordered list. Then we go to this URL passed to the source parameter. So this isn't actually a URL, it's a hash. And so it's passing this hash of options to the URL helper. And how the URL helper is going to interpret this is it's going to add query params to the URL that's the current URL, right? So we're looking at the to-do list index page. So it's going to add query params to the to-do list index page when it fetches. It's going to pass the page param and it's going to assign that to the identifier for the next page of results. And we're going to use the turbo stream format to fetch those results. So Rails, Turbo Rails is going to automatically turn that into a turbo stream request. You might say that it's upgrading the request into a turbo stream request. Let's jump back to our controller. Do you see anything magical here? No, there's nothing special going on. This is a regular index action in a controller that we're all used to seeing especially if you've used the pagey gem before. This is, there's just nothing special going on there. So what's up with the turbo stream? What's, that's gonna, what's that going to do? Well, it's going to do this. When you have a request with the turbo stream format, so that's going to be the content type, turbo stream, turbo rails will automatically respond with the turbo stream template. So the turbo stream template is a DSL, a domain specific language that lets us do operations on turbo stream objects that are already in the view. In this case, we have a to do list frame and a load more frame to the to do list frame. We're going to append the results and we're going to render that same helper that we used right over here the same partial li to do list. So we're going to render the list items within this frame and append means add to the bottom. And we're going to replace the load more frame with the contents of the render load more helper. And you'll notice it looks exactly the same as it already does here. But the difference is this is going to come from the new set of pagey results, which will have the next page of data. So tying all this together, we've got our turbo frame that lazy loads this next page of results. All this means here is there's a loading animation while it waits for the results to load. And then we're going to replace the previous load more with the next load more turbo frame. All right. So this is just to refresh your memory. This is where we render the turbo frame. And we're going to append the to do list items. And that's where you get this buttery smooth infinite scrolling. So the pagey key set, here's the documentation for that. I'm not going to go into detail there, but go ahead to this URL if you want to learn more about the key, key set helper. And just to show that this is not all smoke and mirrors on my local machine, I have this deployed to production on a tiny little one shared CPU instance in fly.io, like half a gig of RAM. This thing is the cheapest machine that they would let me have. Okay, initial page load, super fast. And I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling. This is SQLite, by the way. This is like super basic. SQLite on the same server as the, the Rails application. Uh, this is all happening on that one machine. And that's it. That's the power of Rails 8 with turbo frames, turbo streams, only one extra gem. That's the pagey gem. And it's an awesome gem to have in your toolkit. So uh, there's no harm done there for sure. Uh, I encourage you to go check that one out if you haven't seen it. And that's that. That is infinite scrolling in Rails 8. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below if you have any thoughts or questions. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you'd like to hear about next. Like, subscribe, and please keep on watching with me because we've got lots of exciting stuff like this coming up. So with that, enjoy your day and have a wonderful week.